Okay, so we're heading over to the Department of Land and Natural Resource Office. <coughs> Supposedly they have a meeting at 9 o'clock today, but we're here to confront <coughs> and to address and to bring out uh, how they have any kind of jurisdiction over the Hawaiian Kingdom and its crown and government lands and how they're uh, you know making up rules as they go along to specifically and also again target nationals like myself to not be able to assert and exercise our native tenant rights that was all the way back in 1839 water rights fishing rights access rights and also <clears throat> and also gathering rights yeah all right, so I think maybe uh, we'll see in here. So let's see. Yeah, I guess it's in here. Wonderful. Let's see if we can get anybody to speak yet yeah, before that, before it starts. Anybody willing to speak on, yeah. on Hawaii TV Betsy. before yes. it starts today? Why you're here? Sure. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wait, let me put my eye around, sure. please. <laughs> Anybody else want to interview before it starts? Today? <laughs> Anybody want to do an interview with Hawaii TV before the Oh, it's a furlough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for Good, how are you? Good, good, good. All right. good to see yeah, you. This is new. Yeah. Oh, right. nice to meet you. We're doing some filming today. Like, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because he told us about today. Yeah. So we want to make sure we get them out. You was able to watch some of the videos? You're on oh, already, you're already on. Yeah, cool, yeah. yeah. well, thank you, I appreciate yeah, 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 yeah. it. Okay. So, yeah, looking forward yeah. to seeing this yeah. one too. Yeah, we'll be inside. Okay, so, cool. Just yeah. interview uh, Auntie Okay, there's people on the corner too. Oh, sounds good, okay. Auntie, um. you spoke about uh, the... You didn't forget it, I know, it has to do with the... Yeah, Hawaii Nation, probably. Right, right. And let me take this picture. And then you spoke about the prisons, was that one? Yes. You about that? Was that your niece or what? No, she's my third, second. resources at 9 o'clock a.m. Uh, this morning and again we're trying to uh, confront and also bring awareness not only to the people here in Hawaii but also the people around the world about how the Department of Land and Natural Resources is making up rules as they go along and abusing uh, again nationals here of Hawaii. Uh, we have native tenant rights that we've you know, been practicing and our kupunas and our ancestors have been uh, practicing and doing for thousands and thousands of years. We have access rights, fishing rights, water rights, and also gathering rights, but they are, you know, again, deciding. And uh, it's real funny how they uh, make the claim that they have some kind of jurisdiction over the crown and government lands of the Hawaiian Kingdom when there was no treaty. But I'm here today with Auntie Lila, right? Hi. Okay, uh, and then she's here, you know, for the meeting this morning, and I wanted to ask her, you know, to introduce herself to the, our fans and also to them. Uh, I can tell everyone why you're here this morning. I'm, I'm here because three generations of my family and more have fished in the 
area. My grandmother had a place in the country in the 1920s in Miley, and that's still in the family. And we fished at Kaena Point. My brother, in fact, my father, fished uh, in Mokla'ia. He had a boat in the river there, Kali'ila. And so we have a long uh, history of the use of our natural resources. And I uphold our Hawaiian rights, which are in the Constitution, which DLNR does not follow. They simply ignore, in fact, they harass even our children. There was a fisherman at um, Mokuia who had his daughter on a cot, and she was fast asleep. And a DLNR man came and yelled at her and uh, shook her uh, caught and said she had to get up. Because there is a ruling now in uh, DLNR that says if you're fishing, uh, you can't sleep, which is really kind of ridiculous, you know. I've seen men with fishing poles with bells on, and so they nod off, but they're still fishing. They're not running around and hunting, you know, on land or destroying something. They're trying to feed their family. So I, I, on the other hand, have been an environmentalist for a long time, which is typical and should be of all Hawaiians, because we were, you know? Um, I think we were amongst the first geneticists. We had so many varieties of cattle, you know, 350 at least. So I think we have to evolve with the times. And I'm here somewhat as a compromise because I believe that the area should be fenced because of feral cats that are attacking our wildlife. On the other hand, if I have a spot that I want to fish, and I've been fishing there, I'm 73 now, uh, for 50 years, then I'm not going to walk a half a mile. I'm going to take my wild cutters with me and cut a hole. So I think they need to be practical and to set up gates um, that the public can open and close. Now, if they do not uh, uphold that right and abuse that right, then I think the gates should be closed. But that's, I think, a proper compromise where the wildlife uh, can be protected and we can still fish as we have in many, many years. Right, and Auntie Lila was uh, again uh, addressing uh, the rights. One of them is the splinted paddle that's still in effect to today. You know, the, the police and, you know, the, uh, here in uh, Hawaii, you know, because unfortunately we are uh, ruled by martial law and uh, the color of law. They have the uniform, but they have no re really legal authority because of, you know, no agreement between the Hawaiian Kingdom and our Queen and also the United States, their head of state. Uh, in Wait a minute. The splintered paddle does not apply in this instance. The splinter paddle is for the old and those who are sick, the, those who are disabled uh, should be helped and not hurt. And that does not apply in this case. So I know that the Hawaiian kingdoms uphold their right for their rules. I disagree because practically uh, we are under the thumb of the United States and we might as well recognize that until we form our Hawaiian nation. I thank you and I hope um, you'll hear more from the Koi fighter because we actually work a lot behind the scenes. Thank you. Okay, you folks, so make sure you guys uh, log in every day at hawaiitvblog.com. We provide the true history of what's really going on in Hawaii, not the tainted one that has been painted for uh, over 117 years now. So make sure you guys uh, stay in, in tune with what the Department of Land and Natural Resources is doing because that uh, again, department actually originated from the Hawaiian Kingdom. So make sure, let's make sure that we keep them accountable to making sure that they keep these, these access rights that we all have you know, to be able to go fishing and also diving and even our ancestors have been doing, like I said, for thousands of years. Okay, thank you, Auntie. Okay, Thank you.